Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run exploratory data analysis using detail library in Python. The concept of exploratory data analysis was given by John Tuckey in 1970. It is a first step in data analysis. In statistics, exploratory data analysis is an approach to analyze data set to summarize their main characteristics often with visual methods. By the name itself, it suggests that it is exploring the data. In exploratory data analysis, we have many plots, heat maps, frequency distributions, graphs, correlation matrix along with the hypothesis by which an individual can understand what is the relationship between the variables and what insights we can draw from it. There is a saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. This can be modified for data scientists as, a plot is worth a thousand rows. Now, if I talk about detail library, it is an open source solution for which you can visualize, analyze, and learn how to code PANDAS data structure. It is a combination of Flask, Backend, and a rear React Frontend to bring you an easy way to view and analyze PANDAS data structure. It integrates seamlessly with IPython notebooks and Python IPython terminals. Now, how we can run this? Let's see in Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, I'll activate import pandas as pd. Titanic is equal to pd.read underscore csv. I'll specify the path from where you have to import the data file. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of all, flow of entire series. Import detail. It may be very well possible that you don't have detail library. So you will have to Activate this library either from command prompt, C prompt, or anaconda prompt. You go in command prompt, write down pip install detail and run. After running this, you will be able to activate its library by the command import detail. Then you will write down d is equal to detail.show titanic d.open underscore browser. When you will run this command, it will open in another browser. It will give you in, in first row the variables name and these are the observations. So in total 1310 observations are there and 14 variables are there. Now if you activate any of the cell, for example this one, you can lock it, hide it, delete it, rename it, do the replacements, do the conversion type, identify the duplicates, describe it, format it, formats you can change and heat map. It also gives you the skewness and kurtosis of the data to check the quality of the data. Suppose if I want to filter the data, say for example, I only want the data of those who survived. So when I will write one, you can see at the back end only the data of those who survived in Titanic is generated. If I click on so only missing, so it will only give me the missing observations. Again, I'll go back here. Now, in, in here, if I write down describe, if I activate describe, so on right hand side, it will give me the description of the variable. It is a categorical variable. So one bar chart is generated. So I'll get missing values, first quantile, second quantile, third quantile, maximum, median, mode. It is a categorical uh, variable and therefore we cannot see the histograms here. But let us pick up one continuous variable, say for example, age and describe it. So it gives me a box plot. Moreover, when I click on outliers, it will tell me that these age groups are outliers in our data set. I can arrange in ascending or descending way, whatever way I want. Now, if I click on histograms, it will give me the histograms. This is for the overall data. I can also specify uh, from here other variables if I want. Say, for example, according to the gender. So, I get two histograms for male and female. Different histogram, that is for male and female. 
I can click on categories and on that basis it will generate the bar chart. When I click on QQ plot, that is a quantile quantile plot, it gives me the normality of the data. So if my data is normally distributed, all the blue blue ones, blue data points will be located on red red line. But you can see there is some division which is happening here, here. I can also do the selection from here, box select, lasso select, maximize, minimize. The most interesting part of this detail is when I click on code export, I'll get the code directly from here. I can copy this code into my data frame, into my Jupyter notebook, and I can run there also. This is its artificial intelligence. It writes this code on its own. I can copy from here and generate the same graph in the Jupyter notebook. Now I'll close this. And what actions can be done? Taken here, show or hide columns, convert to X-ray, custom filter, data frame functions, summarize the data. Say for example, if I click on summarize data, so I can do group by, pivot, transpose. So all data management techniques can be done from here. Again, go back, actions, feature analysis. So which is the most interesting feature or rather we can say which is the variable which is significantly influencing my predictive analysis can be picked up from here. So passenger class is the most significant. Okay, I again go back here from here and then I can click on visualize. So describe, we have already seen. Identification of duplicates, I have already seen. If I click on missing value analysis, it will give me the missing values heat map, where the missing values are more. So it is more in survived, name, uh, gender. If I click on bar, bar chart, it will give me the missing values according to the variable. So here, the missing values are more in passenger class, survived, It also gives me the matrix if I want. Right here. Let me go back. Now, visualize correlations among the variable. So it also gives a correlation among the variables. If I want specific correlations, that is, for example, age and fare. So I get a specific correlations. Code export will always be there with us, close this, now again I go and visualize, predictive power score, again it will identify the variables which are having a best explanatory power, so here fair passenger class combination is a good combination, again I go and visualize, activate the charts, now here, I can generate all type of charts, bar chart, scatter chart, pie chart, word cloud, and columns can be selected, and grouping can also be selected from here. Now, again I go back, visualize. Uh, highlight missing values so it will highlight where the missing values are there then again I go back here from here highlight outliers in the data so it will identify the outliers this from survive let's say okay I can highlight the particular range in any column that I want the values from this range to this range. This can also be done. And there are settings for theme, language. I can select the themes from here if I want. Arc theme. I can change the themes. So overall, it is a really 
uh, graphic user interface of Jupyter Notebook. So I'll give the light theme. I can also press the play button from here and all the menu which we have seen in seen in the lecture you can activate from here also so i can click here heat map overall heat map so it gives me the overall heat map. so this is about detail library a very useful library for the data scientist as it generates a code automatically for more videos on data science using python kindly subscribe to my channel Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to data science using Python. Kindly subscribe to my channel and please press the like button.